pulling for a ban uh, outside buildings and in bars and clubs where smokers traditionally will now uh, congregate because they can't smoke inside. Yeah. What do you make of that? Well, I think it's, uh, it's, a, it's a definitely a step too far. I think that um, we've had so many sort of attacks on people's freedom to choose where to, when and where to smoke. Um, and actually, the, the, the reason that people are outside pubs and bars is because they're not allowed inside the pubs and bars. Um, and I just think that there comes a point where we have to say enough is enough that we should be free to, to, to make these choices. We're not harming anybody else, but if there isn't even the kind of secondhand smoke argument to be made about this, then we should be, be free to let adults make their choices and do as, do as they please in these situations. You a smoker, Rob? I am a social smoker, yeah. So if so, a social smoker, so it means that when you go to a pub or a bar, you like to have a cigarette, but yeah. of course you can't do that indoors, yeah, so you're right, one yeah. of the people who's, who's outside. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Um, now, of course, lots of people want to be outside, and apparently many, many more people would use the outside areas if mm. this exclusion zone was in place. So perhaps there is a benefit to more people if smoking was banned there. Well, I think there's, there's, there's two separate things. First of all, during the winter, obviously, they're, they're not interested in using the outside area. They want to be inside where it's warm. And, and outside, you know, there's, there's lots of... There's not really a great big problem with people two tables away from you having a cigarette. That's, that's, it's, it's not going to affect you at all. But it's not a problem for you or it's not a problem for the person well, that's sitting think, two think, tables I, away I, I that doesn't smoke? I think we, we can be quite you know, tolerant about these things. I, don't, I, mean, I mean, I think it should be left to bar owners to decide whether you, you know, that's going to inconvenience somebody or not. I don't think the law is required mm. to do this. If you're a social smoker, I mean, do you want to give up smoking? No, I quite enjoy smoking. Because I was going to say, if, if you're a social smoker and smoking was banned in the places where you smoke, it might encourage people who perhaps only smoke because other people are smoking around them to give up. I think what it's more likely to do is actually drive people away from pubs altogether so that they're going to go, well, it's very expensive to drink in a pub, mm -hmm. I can't smoke when I want to, I'm going to stay at home and smoke and drink and have my friends around or do something like that, which is a pain because you want the, the, to go somewhere different. Mm. But at the same time, if that's the situation, that you're probably going to smoke and drink more because it's going to cost you less to do that at home and you're going to be possibly doing it in the presence of your children, which you probably wouldn't be doing it in a pub. Mm. I think a bit more f flexibility and freedom and letting people make their own choices is far better.